Three reasons that we provide a fluoride treatment to our patients. One is to, to prevent caries. One is to remineralize demineralized areas. And, and the other reason is to decrease sensitivity. Contraindications for fluoride would be um, if a patient is allergic to rosin, um, if they have ulcerative gingivitis, or if they have stomatitis. So the product that we use is 5% sodium fluoride. It comes in this little package. You open it up and use the um, brush applicator. It bends here at the end, so you can bend it so it makes it easier to apply to the teeth. And you wanna stir up the product because sometimes there's alcohol in the product and it can separate. So you wanna make sure it's all together. So you move quickly when you do this um, because it starts to get tacky if it comes in contact with um, saliva. So we can ask, you could hold the suction and you wanna dry the area that you're working on, working in large areas. So try not to swallow. And you're going to cover all surfaces of the teeth. Moving quickly, but being thorough so that you cover all surfaces. Buckles, linguals, occlusals. Okay. And you just reapply to the applicator as you need to. Okay, so when you're done, you're just going to ask your patient to run their tongue along their teeth because the saliva helps to seal the product um, into place so that it doesn't move anywhere. And you want to let your patient know that your teeth are going to feel a little bit tacky. That's completely normal until you brush your teeth. So post-care instructions. You want to ask your patient to avoid brushing and flossing for a minimum of two hours. So um, it's not unusual to ask your patient to wait till the next day. They need to avoid any products containing fluoride. Um, so toothpaste, rinses, anything that contains fluoride until the next day. Um, and also to avoid products that contain alcohol because it could dissolve the fluoride on the teeth. The last thing that you want to do is to ask your patient, are you feeling any um, itching or burning at all? Yeah. Okay, good. Because you want to make sure that they're not having an allergic reaction. So always have your instructor come over so that they could um, assess the tissues before you dismiss your patient. So never dismiss your patient before checking with your instructor because we, we want to make sure your patient's not having an allergic reaction before dismissing them. Good. And so you would look for any redness and make sure that your patient doesn't feel itching.